Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Welcome to this week's episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed, and today I'm here at the Wolverton Mountain Peacekeepers range for their 15th anniversary annual match. Now this is my first time at their range, and probably the first time for many of you. So we'll explore the range together as we go through 10 cowboy action shooting stages over the next two days. Let's posse up. So I thought I'd go over what was in the shooter's packet real quick before we get with our posse and get to shooting. Um, they're giving some hand sanitizer out courtesy of State Farm, which is nice. This is packed full, so we'll just go through it real quick. Name badge. Theme of the match is Tombstone this year. Here's our shooter's book. You guys will get real familiar with that real fast. Sass Mint Lip Balm. There's the flag. Cool Sass sticker. I love these. $10 off at Sportsman's. I use those a lot. Thank you, Sportsman's. Post-it notes from State Farm. Tombstone. This is the Wolverton Mountain Peacekeepers 15th anniversary match. Little sticker to go on your window. Chronicles of the Old West. Uh, State Farm. This is Kathy Lander's card from State Farm. She's sponsored. And then Bang & Clang LLC, another sponsor of the match. And then regular surgical mask, but then they provide you with this nice mask, which is big enough to actually make me into a full-fledged bandit. And last but not least is a sass pin if you can still hear me. Now, let's get to shooting. Stage three. Now I really hate him. Ringo and Curly Bill check out the Oriental Saloon where the Earps and Doc hang out. Wyatt tells him he's retired and Ringo asks Doc if he's as re retired as well. The two exchange Latin verses and Doc says to Kate, Ringo is an educated man. Now I really hate him. Ringo shows off his fast pistol spinning tricks and Doc mimics him with a tin cup. The crowd laughs. Okay, you need 10 pistol, 10 rifle in hand, four plus shotgun stage safely. You must use all three positions. Shooter starts at position B, which is the middle. It's A and C. When ready, say, Mr. Ringo is an educated man. Now I really hate him. With rifle, engage a double tap sweep from either end, then engage the center target four times. Make rifle safe, then from A, engage the shotgun targets in any order until down. With pistols at C, use the same instructions as the rifle. Oh, I really hate him now. Stand by. This is the first time. that shield on. <laughs> you might want to add another filter, another Two layer. Three. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure the smoke won't be too bad. No, I don't believe you. It's going to just stand. Or toss the hair a little better, would you? Well, you know what, Dandy? I hate it even more now. Stand by. It ain't clean, but there weren't no misses. 2351. Fast enough? 
No? Stage four. I have two pistols, one for each of you. Curly Bill visits the opium Chinese den, exits and starts shooting up the town. When the old sheriff tells Curly Bill to give up his pistols, he shoots the sheriff dead. Wyatt gets involved and makes the citizens arrest. The Clanton brothers tell Wyatt to let him go free. Wyatt replies, he'll stand trial and points his pistol at Ike's head. Billy Clanton starts to draw and Doc points his pistol at Billy. Billy comments to Doc, you're so drunk, you're probably seeing double. Doc replies, I have two pistols, one for each of you. So you'll need 10 pistol holstered, 10 rifle staged safely, four plus shotgun staged safely. You must use three positions. Shooter starts at position and guns of choice. Rifle cannot be last. Hands at side. When ready, say, I have two guns, one for each of you. At the beep, with shotgun from position A, engage the targets until down in any order. If with the rifle, sweep the targets in a Nevada sweep for the first five rounds, starting on the buffalo target. With the second five rounds, repeat instructions. With the pistols, use the same instructions for the rifle. Got two pistols, one for each of you. Stand by. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Dandy, I really do have two guns, one for each of you. Stand by. Seventy-four. Encounter said no misses, but it weren't claimed. Stage five. You're a daisy if you do. On October 26th, 1881, the Clantons, Ike and Billy, and some of the cowboys are waiting at a lot on Fremont Street next to the OK Corral for the Earps and Doc. At the end of the shootout, one of the cowboys thinks Doc has an empty pistol and tells Doc, I've got you now. And Doc replies, you're a daisy if you do. The cowboy shoots and Doc pulls his other pistol and fires along with Morgan. Dead are Billy Clanton and the other two cowboys. You'll need 10 pistol holster, eight rifle, stayed safely, four plus shotgun, stayed safely. You must use at least two positions. The positions on this stage are at least one foot outside the white line, this one, this side and one foot outside the white line on this one, side. On Rifle cannot be last. Standing at position of choice. Hands at Texas surrender. Texans never surrender. <laughs> on RP targets, you will use either the right four or the left four. When ready, say, You're a daisy if you do. At the beep, if you're starting with a shotgun, knock him down any order. If with the rifle and pistols, engage the RP targets, whichever four you're using, in any order, you shoot one on one, eight on two, eight on three, and one on four. So it's an 1881 sweep, and you're using four of those five targets. You're a daisy if you do. Stand by. Both of them down. 22 even. Good run.
Stage six, everybody posse up. I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. When Wyatt takes his brother Virgil to the train station in Tucson, Ike Clinton and Frank Stillwell are ready to ambush him. Wyatt shoots Frank Stillwell, then he tells Ike to go back and tell the cowboys they're finished. Shows Ike his new marshal badge, and if he sees any red sashes, he will kill the man wearing it. So run and tell the others the law is coming. I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. The group, Wyatt, Doc, Masterson, Turkey Creek, and Texas Jack mount up and go after the remaining cowboy gang. You'll need 10 pistols holstered, 9 rifle, and 4 plus shotgun open and empty. Stage safely, of course. You must use all three positions. Rifle cannot be last. Standing at A, one hand on shotgun shells and the other holding the shotgun. When ready, say, I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. At the beat from A, knock them all at B or C with rifle, engage all five targets with single rounds in this order. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Pistols use the same instructions as the rifle, then place the tenth round on target one or five. Either end target. Four. 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 Yeah. 43 16. Four's out. Right. Um, Wyatt's in the hell. I'll bring the fire and brimstone. Stand by. Stage seven, it's a reckoning. At the creek, Curly Bell has an ambush waiting for the group. As the shootout proceeds, the group is cornered. Wyatt yells, no more, and walks out in clear sight over the water to Curly Bell and shoots him dead. Masterson, Turkey Creek, Jack Johnson, and Texas Jack commented they had never seen anything like what Wyatt did in the crossing of the creek in the shootout. Doc's replies, Wyatt is over the the river but now probably walking on water doc adds it's not revenge for wyatt it's a reckoning you need 10 pistol holster 10 rifle stage safely four plus shotgun stage safely you must use at least two positions and the rifle cannot be last position and guns of choice touching gun of choice not lifting and yes it can be guns if your hands right. are on your pistol when ready say it's a reckoning at the beep if you're starting with the pistols continuous Nevada sweep the targets starting at either end. Double tapping the outside targets when engaged. This rifle, same instructions as a pistol. Shotgun, engage targets in any order until down. Oh, you have to use A and C with the shotgun. Okay. Two over there. And two, two over, over there. Reckoning! Stand by. Twenty-five seventy-seven, and spotters have clean shooter. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's a reckoning. Stand by.
2078. Okay, is everybody posseed up? This is stage eight. Wyatt is my friend. Turkey Creek Jack Johnson comments, why are you doing this, Doc? Doc Holiday replies, because Wyatt Earp is my friend. Turkey Creek Jack Johnson says, friend? Hell, I got lots of friends. Doc Holiday replies, I don't. You need 10 pistol holstered, 10 rifles staged safely, four plus shotgun staged safely. You must use all three positions. Use pistol rifle first in any order and end with the shotgun. Shooter starts with pistol or pistols or rifle at the ready. When ready, say, Wide up is my friend. With the rifle engage the target starting on either end. One on one, two on two, two on three, back to two on two, two on three, and then one on four. Pistols are the same instructions as a rifle. The shotgun, any order from A and C. Stand by! Twenty-two ninety-seven. That dime store dandy. He's my friend. Stand by. Good run. Thank you. Well, that's it for the first six stages here at the Wolverton Mountain Peacekeepers annual match. I thought all of the stages went really smooth. They were fun, fast, and challenging. So I hope you'll join me in giving these folks a big thumbs up by smashing that like button. It's been a beautiful day out here on the range. The temperature was in the mid 70s all day. The stages uh, we shot were all under a canopy of trees, so it stayed nice and cool, and the bays were open enough to allow my black powder smoke to move freely away from the targets on several stages, and that's always a good thing. So now I've got my firearms all cleaned up. They served me well today, and we'll hope for the same from them tomorrow. I've had dinner, and now I'm out for an evening stroll with Miss Harley. She's been here filming with me all weekend. She's filmed all of the stages, so please, feel free to leave her a thank you down in the comment section. I'll be back in a flash to bring you day, day two. two. Are you all ready for this? Four more stages to go. Now I should point out to you that I came here to have fun, explore this range, share this club with y'all, and to shoot a fast match. See, normally my focus is to shoot clean at a match. That is to say no misses and no procedural penalties. And oftentimes that means slowing down. I realized after watching back the footage from the Oregon State match that in order to shoot clean, I was greatly reducing my speed. So while I'm certainly not trying to miss any targets, I am much more focused on raw time or speed. I hope you all can tell the difference and you're enjoying the show. Now let's go out and bang out the final four stages and meet some more shooters. Stage nine, I'm your Huckleberry. Ringo sends word that they killed Masterson, and he, Ringo, will meet Wyatt at Silver Creek Canyon for a shootout, just the two of them. Unbeknownst to Wyatt, Doc meets up with Ringo first, telling him, I'm your Huckleberry. Then Doc adds, you look like someone that just walked over your grave. Ringo replies, all right, Lunger, let's do it. Doc replies, say when. Doc shoots Ringo in the head. When Wyatt arrives, he's shocked to see Doc. And he says, already, let's finish it. And they do. No more cowboy gang. Okay. Ten pistol holstered. Ten rifles stayed safely. Four plus shotgun stayed safely. Must use both positions. Shooter starts at position and gun of choice. Rifle cannot be last. Hands touching hat 
when ready, say... I'm your huckleberry. At the beat, if from B, with pistols and rifle, place three rounds on each square and eight rounds on the cowboy in any order. It's a round count. Mm -hmm. want. At A, with a shotgun, knock him down any order. All right. I'm your huckleberry. Stay Fire. Here. Stand by! Someone say Huckleberry Pie. Stand by. Better shooting than you. Slow <laughs> and he down. doesn't even have to see the target. Slow down. <laughs> okay, this is stage 10. I'm dying, Wyatt. How are you? Months later at the Glenwood Sanitarium in Colorado, Wyatt visits Doc and asks how he's doing. Doc replies, I'm dying, Wyatt. How are you? Wyatt brings Doc a gift, a book he wrote called My Friend Doc Holiday by Wyatt Earp. Wyatt tells Doc he wishes he had a normal life. Doc replies, there's no normal life, just life. So get on with it. Doc asks Wyatt to leave him now. Once Wyatt leaves, Doc looks down at his bare feet and his last words. This is funny. I always thought I would die with my boots on. Okay, 10 pistol, 10 rifle, stage safely. Four plus shotgun, open and empty. Start up position A, rifle cannot be locked. Shotgun in both hands, when ready, say. I'm dying, how are you? At the base, with shotgun, shoot the four targets in order. Then, using the rifle and pistols, engage four square targets with four rounds and four on the cowboy. And again, it's a round count stage. I can hold it just about long enough. Oh, so I should slow down and choke you out a little bit, huh? Probably. You got to get up to about 27 about seconds, though. I sure wish I had that back. <laughs> and then you have to help carry the corpse away. Uh, oh. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Yeah. Hang out. Let's have some fun here. That'd be a quick shotgun. Yeah, nice. They were down. Right. Yeah. Big bang. Big bang. Uh, they're down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He didn't tie those off or anything, did you? I did. And it starts. Start with shotgun in hand. Start with shotgun in hand. All right. Well, by golly. Uh, hey. Uh,
1677. Did I do you it? weren't supposed Almost. to take me literal. Stage one. This is the story of Wyatt Earp and his brothers, Morgan and Virgil, and Wyatt's friend, Doc Holliday. The Earps have left their gunslinger ways behind them to settle down and start a business in the town of Tombstone, Arizona. They aren't looking to find trouble. Trouble soon finds them, and they become targets of the ruthless cowboy gang. Now, together with Wyatt's best friend, Doc, the brothers pick up their guns once more to restore order to a lawless land. You need 10 pistol, 10 plus 1 rifle, 4 plus shotgun. You must use all three positions. You start with shotgun in both hands at A and say, a new beginning. At the beat, engage shotgun targets till down. Move to B. With rifle, double tap the center target, then triple tap one outside target, then engage the other outside target five times. Then reload one round and engage the center rifle target. At C with the pistols, use the same instructions with the rifle without the reload. I'm thinking positive. This stage will be a new beginning. <laughs> Stand by. Well, that actually went a lot better than I anticipated. So now, the dilemma I face is slow down a hair for the clean match or just keep shooting fast. Speed up. They all say speed, speed up. up. It's, it's speed up. Everybody says just speed up. Hell with the clean match. So we're gonna go for that. We're gonna keep it up. We're gonna go for speed. Stand by. Let her rip, tater tip. <laughs> this is stage two. Wyatt finds his first job at the Oriental Saloon after confronting the current loudmouth bully game dealer. Wyatt informs him that he's taking his seat and his job. Wyatt challenges him, smacks him a few times, and tells him, are you going to do something or just stand there and bleed? You need 10 pistol, 10 rifle, 4 plus shotgun. You must use all three positions. Shooter starts with arms crossed at chest. At the beat, from A, engage shotgun still down. From B, engage the three rifle targets in this order. Once on each outside target, then three on the center target. Repeat instructions for next five rounds. From C, with the pistols, use the same instructions as for the rifle. Are you going to stand there and bleed? Stand by. Three fifty one. Good run. All right, Mr. Jedi Knight. Final Thank stage you, of the man. day. Last chance. Yeah. Look at that. There's enough smoke signals. Yeah. May the force be with you. Try to see which way the wind's going when there is any. Alright, the 
sending up smoke signals. Stand by. Take the mess. Alright, we got all the shooting done for the main match. Got all the steel put away. I had my opportunity for a little crying. That right there cost me a clean match. I blame Federal. You all are responsible for my, my not having a clean match out here. Other than that though, um, nine really good stages. Even that one was a good stage, even with the miss. So, no clean match award. I still think I did all right. We'll see how it all turns out at the award ceremony. Uh, again, got all the steel put away. We're gonna have some lunch and then do a team shoot. See you there. How do I look? Beautiful. <laughs> With that hair, you can't look anything but great. You look fast. No matter when you boys are. Shoot under the case, ready, stand by. In first place, the team number one was Dime Store Dandy, Jedi Knight, and Lightfoot. And that other guy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeehaw. Let's get a little picture right here real quick. Uh, Yeehaw. <laughs> well, that's it. Two days of shooting, 10 stages, new parts, old parts, social distancing when possible, and I managed a first place in category. And in first place, and by the way, the Frontier Cartridge Gunfighter goes to Mr. Jedi Knight. Now, he, now Jedi, him and his lovely wife did some filming, and if you haven't seen Jedi TV, Look for it on the Sasswire or YouTube. Are you uh, any place else? YouTube. Sometimes I throw stuff on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or anything. Like sure, that. all of them. Okay. I'm out there. Uh, Just look for Jedi uh, Gunfighter. Watch his video. They're very, very, very well done. Thank you, Jedi. Thank you. And a second place overall. Congratulations to Run Amuck for his overall win, and to Shotzi Lady for her ladies' overall win. I'll be back here to the Wolverton Mountain Peacekeepers annual next year for my clean match pin. They look pretty cool and I really need one in my collection. I'd suggest you take a look at a map, find Area Washington, and if you're in that area or can get to that area the fourth weekend of August, definitely try your hand at this match. I'll see you there. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time.